Welcome back to RBO. Today I'm going to be showing you the fishing kits that I like to put in my survival kits. Before we get into that, I just want to remind you guys, today is the fifth day of the MRE giveaway for the Beef Patty Jalapeno Pepper Jack Menu 19. This is a 2024, so it has the tortillas instead of the uh, bun. And yeah, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be releasing a video every day till the 5th. The 5th is going to be the day I announce the giveaway in the final video. So look forward to that, and good luck to the winner. And yeah, let's get into this. It's gonna be a quick video, but still something I want to share with you guys. Um, here's a couple of the kits and little devices that I put together over the last year of just putting kits together. Here's like one of the most basic ones. I believe this is like a thing for screws or nails. I just have a. I'll show you. I don't know why this pencil is in here, to be honest. But you have your bound up line. You got your fake lures. You got a bobber. You got your sinkers, your little whatnot, your snaps. Then you got this little guy. Yeah, it's a very, very basic kit. Probably something that looks like you found all this on the beach. Probably going up from that would be these basic guys, which I have two of these. I believe there was one in there. There is one in there. It's just a shim of wood that I snapped off, cut some holes into, or shim some shims into, whatever you want to say. And then uh, wrapped a line around it, put a hook on it, and I just used electrical tape just to keep everything set, and it works great. Step up from that would be this. It's a larger, uh, I don't even know what you'd call this. There's a word for it. Someone's going to leave it in the comments. Make me look goofy. But it's a plastic one. Lightweight. Probably better off with that. It's because you have a wider uh, loop. So it's just going to be less times you're going to have to wrap it around. This one's a cool one. It's actually one of the ones you get off the vending machines. So you pop that. You have your little hook set and your sinkers and whatnot in here. Then you got your line just wrapped around here. These are some containers. Two different style. One with the line at the top, one with the line at the bottom. As you can see, I didn't put in the line on this one yet. Here's actually a spice bottle or uh, one of those spice kits, the cool uh, containers off Alibaba or AliExpress, I can't remember, but I just came home with these bottles and there was no canvas uh, bag with it. So I just turned this into a fishing kit. Put all my sinkers and hooks in right here and right in there and everything works out great. I could actually put like little lures in there, bass lures and whatnot. Yeah. I use a little bit of electrical tape just to hold it down. This is like a thicker tape that I use to build an edge up on most of these kits. As you can see, this is one without the line. Just to keep everything in place. Okay, I know if it's rubbing around a bag, it's probably going to rub off and let's go off the edge. Here, okay, let's, let's go with the piece watch right here. This one's the most basic one. These have a strand of line. Strand of line. You got your loop line here, you got your hooks, you got your fake lures, you got some bobber style things. Yeah, it's a great little kit. Then we got this little guy. So you have a little loop line, loop line, I can't even think of the words today. Um, you got your small hooks, you got your sinkers. These are just pre-made kits. Which of these would be great if you used to buy these. Which I bet there's a website somewhere. I'll look around and see if I can link something in the description. This is another lanyard of line. This product contains lead. Okay. Actually, here. This is empty. 
So this is a 3D printed tackle box that's supposed to set in there. I made mine a little larger so mine doesn't set in. But these are really cool if you can find a whole bunch of different designs online for these. There's a whole bunch of different things for the Altoids kit. For Altoids tin kit. Here we have the Johnson Johnson first aid kit. And oh, it's a little messy. That happens when you use tape. But here we have our little fishing kit. We have our hooks, our razor to cut our line, our fish, another one of those shims. This one's a little uglier. Have a couple leads. And we have another thing of line here with a hook on it. That's not with a hook on it, just with a hook on it. And then, yeah, fun little fishing kit. Very simple. But it's flat too, so fits right into anything. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, good luck to the winner about with the giveaway. Have a nice day. Thank you guys for watching.